to destroy my world! I don't believe in destiny, I just do what's best for me Don't listen to my enemies, they're just full of jealousy Yeah, this legacy, you gon' see what's left of me You gon' see success in me, you ain't seen the rest of me I just wanna be the best at what I know Better than the rest, just watch me grow Put me to the test and watch me go This is my quest, I'ma make it known They call me obsessive, oh I know Call me selective with my notes Call me aggressive with my flow Call me offensive even though Joe, I ain't gonna lie, life's tough Try to get by, life's rough Try to do it right, it's not enough Even though you try, you still mess up But I'm still gonna fight for what I love Still gonna die for what I love Still gonna try, I won't give up Still gonna fight until I want Hey guys, I'm walking up part 5 and now I chose to have a power and I want to make time First thing first, the like goes on to be 60 likes. And I might end this with Tiff, guys, because it only got 400 views and I haven't even hit 100 likes yet. And that's really bad for my what ifs. So it means that you guys aren't liking it. And if you don't like it, I can always end it and replace it for what if you will like. So yeah, depending on my community tab, I'll end it and depending on how this video does if this video gets like 300 views in an, in an entire day and doesn't hit 100 like not even 100 likes if it doesn't hit like 80 likes by the time i make my next video it's going to be cancelled anyway other than that let's have a quick recap now i master this demon abilities and he awakened his angel's abilities that angel is going to be named michael as the archangel michael and also my uncle's michael so yeah kind of honoring him not on it him, I don't really, really couldn't care less, but it's an excuse. So yeah, then Naruto did the two parts of the tuning exam. And when Orochimaru appeared, Kilua killed Orochimaru. And then Naruto aroused him as a minion. Then he took up the soul that Orochimaru placed on Sasuke's neck using his curse mark and fed it to Kilua. Anyway, let's get into it. He healed Sasuke using some of his angel ninjutsu and Kirua sits up like <sighs> thanks and Naruto says you're welcome now what do we do and now I just realizes oh yeah he now saw you know come here come here come here come here come here he grabs hold of them and then he teleports to the down area He's chilling there, and about an hour later, after he's opened the score and made kid a made Ruka aware of what's going on, Gara arrives, and he looks at Naruto with bloodlust and says, "You, you, you hurt, you annoyed me, you escaped death narrowly like a coward, and and I can sense you have the you have Shugaku." You have him. He's mine. Give him back. And now Adela starts laughing like a maniac. Like, oh, you're just like before. <sighs> first thing first. I wasn't scared of you. I could easily take you as you saw and I beat the hell out of you. And also, I was using strategy. And Shugaku isn't yours. You know, if anything, he's not mine. He's his own person, but he just lets me use his power because he likes me more than you. Gawa launches an attack at Naruto and he splits Naruto to flinch. But instead Naruto runs towards it with his white with his white truth seek and all that he gets from Kaguya, Kaguya and he smashes the sand, turning it to dust. Then he chucks his Kunai at Gawa. Gawa barely dodging and Naruto teleports to it and puts it next to Gawa's neck and he whispers in his ear. You pull one of them stunts again, and your guts will be over the ground. Wait till our fight. And Naruto teleports back to Sasuke, Naruto, I mean Sasuke, Ino, and Hinata. Gar is enraged, and he says, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. Wherever we're at, Shugaku, and when I get him back... I'm gonna kill my dad. I know he's alive. For some reason, Gar thinks his dad's alive. I don't know why. This is not scripted. I'll just said it and I've regret it now. But we're gonna go with it. Like I do with all my wives. Anyway. Oh, I dropped my phone. Anyway. 
Then we get the first fight. It's Sakura versus Eno. Oh, and I'm doing my own Odo fights, by the way. And I put an accent on because I'm bored and I don't know why. I'm going to take it away now. Anyway, I'm doing my own Odo fights. First cup comes Eno and Sakura. Sakura expects Eno to be weak and she's ready to get revenge for Eno taking her Sasuke. And then when she charges her, you know, Ina just dodges repeatedly, repeatedly. And she spin kicks Sakura, sending her flying. Sakura gets up and says, you took my Sasuke! Ina starts laughing and says, I'm going out with Naruto. So we say Naruto, we're sharing him. Sakura is just shot thinking, Naruto? And Ina says, yeah, he's way better than Sasuke. Sasuke yells down from the crowd, Ina, you bleep. Bleep. He said the B word, and I'm not going to say it because I need my money. I don't want to get demonetized. And Eno says, yo, he's a Sage 6 path. He's insanely strong. And Sakura says, whatever, Sasuke can beat him. And Eno says, no, Sasuke gets he learns from him. Naruto is way stronger. And now Sasuke goes down. She's right, Sakura, so shut your, fa shut your face with your big arm. Oh, nearly said sink. Forehead. Anyway, oh my god, I'm doing the accent again. Sorry, guys, I can't help it. Anyway. Ino then rushes Sakura. She creates a sh multiple shadow clones, shocking a lot of people. And she bodies Sakura, and then using her mind control jutsu, makes Sakura give up. Everyone thinks so that's what happens when you're in a team the Sage Six Path. Next is Hinata versus Neji. Unlike the original, Hinata isn't a big. Ooh. Okay, I did that one on purpose. And she actually stands up to Neji. And she's repeatedly doing it and doing it and doing it. Until Neji makes a date move by kicking dirt into her eyes. And without her Byaku gun, she's about half as useful. And Neji knows her in her, Neji knows her, in her chest with a date move. And this enrages Naruto and he jumps down. No one dares to stop him. They see the bloodlust in his eyes. And Killua comes down and slices at Neji. But Naruto yells at him, Killua, back down. And Killua says, but he hurt Hinata. And then Michael swoops down, attacking Killua, stopping him from killing Neji. Neji is clearly scared. Naruto walks towards him slowly. He's, Neji starts yelling, you're nothing. You're just born with power. Everyone says you're so amazing. No, I'm amazing. I'm born in the Hayuga clan. And Naruto just looks at him dead in a dead look and says, Neji, oh Neji, you have no idea what mistake you just made. You've annoyed a Sage of Six Path, an angel, a demon, a dragon, and soon to be immortal. You are not going to get out of this unscathed. You're not going to get out of this alive if I'm lucky. But knowing how I normally act, I'll let you off with a few broken bones. A few broken lives, maybe. And he looks like into Neji's eyes with a blank stare. And then his running gun activates. His Kotoma, Natsuki, whatever, Shishui Shinjuju activates. Then now to activates this, showing Neji a vision. Then he activates Tsukiyomi and Neji screams out. After Neji's laying on the floor, he wakes up a bit and says, I am gonna kill you. You're nothing. Naruto creates a chakra and slams it on Neji's stone. Now we have Naruto versus Neji. Neji's fully healed. He's laughing and he rushes Naruto. Naruto easily dodges, jumping around. And he says, Is that all you got, Neji? You're so useless. No wonder you got branded with that mark in your head. You would have a pointless destiny if it weren't for that. And Neji says, What? I'm going to kill you. And Kilua pops up scaring Neji and he says, What is that? Kilua says, I'm the demon you annoyed. Prepare to die. And Kilua lunges at Neji, slicing his sword and splitting open Neji's chest. Neji, at this, in this version, knows a bit of healing duty and seals up his chest. Then Naruto appears underneath him, kicking him in the air. Then Michael, the angel, flies above him and creates a small blast in his hand, slamming Neji into the ground. 
Neji says, I told you you annoyed way too many people. I wonder what the mortal would do if he was here. Hmm? Maybe he would end you before me. Everyone's a bit scared of Naruto, but they realise why he's mad. Naruto covers his hand in a tree seeking up and slams Neji into the ground. Repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. Then he goes into his mind. Tonyuri's like, Naruto, stop. He looks at Tonyuri with bloodlust and he says, Why should I? He tried to kill Hinata. And Kurama says, Naruto, you're just as bad as him if you're going to act like this. And Naruto's not thinking straight. He yells at him, Shut up, you stupid fox! This is where Naruto realises. He says, I'm sorry, Kurama. And he appears into reality. He stops. Killua senses a lack of bloodlust from Naruto, and so does Michael. Michael instantly stops, but Killua says, Naruto, what's wrong? Aren't we going to finish him? And Naruto says, no. Killua's like, oh, come on! And before Killua can even say anything else, Naruto absorbs him again. And then he looks at Nechi and says, you call Hinata useless. Well, let's see if he can even fight anyone she's been able to fight. He heals Neji yet again. And summons out Zabiza and Haku. And he says, Hinata was able to take these guys on. I'll give you Zabiza at first. Let's see if you can even take him on. If you can, then you get Haku. Because if you can't take him on, then Hinata's better than you. Neji's like, okay. That's Zabiza, the legendary swordsman. I can take him if Hinata can. Ooh. Oh, sorry. If Hinata can. All of a sudden... Zabaza appears in front of Neji and decks him in the face, starts slamming him around. He gets a sword and slices off one of Neji's legs. Neji's screaming. <sighs> but that's not enough. Before Naruto stops in, Neji's lost an arm and two legs. Neji's like, why? I can't be a ninja. There's no healer due to that could repair limbs. Naruto says, do you realise what's wrong with you? And Neji says, yes. Scared, Naruto places out his hand and mutters under his breath. And with one handed hand signs, along with Michael doing hand signs behind him, he restores Neji's limbs. Neji's amazed, he thought that no healing juice can restore limbs. But then Naruto just did it. And then uh, Neji gives up. Not before Naruto boots him out the ring, though. Next fight is Gara versus Lee. Lee tries blitzing Gara, but unlike the original, he isn't in the mood to get in a good fight. Straight away, he sends his son to hit a killer hit. So Lee takes his weights off a lot earlier and goes into the third game. He starts splitting Gara, and Gara gets really annoyed. He roars, and an explosion of sand goes off. Multiple blades of sand start chasing after Lee. And to keep away from them, Lee goes into the fourth gate and starts disappearing. Now I just smiled and says, I still remember Lee being insanely powerful. <clears throat> oh yeah, I think of it. All the facts I could have used the eight gates and I never did. <sighs> I could have been maybe like four times more powerful. That would have been fun. Oh, I didn't even need to come back in time. I could have beat Tamaroda properly. Now I just just face plants. Then he looks at Lee. He said since they're different. Lee's further ahead than original. He's pushing on his potential. And then Naruto makes up an excuse. He jumps down, knocking Gara Sando with ease. This shocks Gara. And everyone's like, what's going on? Naruto says, something's happened to this boy. I think Orochimaru did something to him without him knowing. Everyone's like, oh. How do you know? He said, I looked at him with my running gun. Naruto is cooking complete bullcrap. He places his hand on Lee and pushes say to six bath chakra for him. He whispers in Lee's ear. You should be able to use your eight gates now fully. And don't worry about the eight gates, there's no risk. Nata yells out, this boy's like me, where he has no retaliation on his body from the eight gates. If I was in Daisy, he heard something and start barking. Bark, bark, bark. Anyway, everyone gasps. My guy's a bit shocked, thinking I knew Lee was special. Oh, one sec, guys. And then Lee goes to the sixth gate and he's like, huh. No pain. And he starts spouting around Gara, lands and kicks a lot more than in the new cannon. 
and even in one of his kicks, he sends Gara flying. But before he smashes into the arena wall, he gets caught by the sand. Lee goes to the seventh gate. A blue roar appears and he roars. His speed is far greater than the cannon, and he's easily breaking past Gara's sand. A huge on him, kicking him around, faster than the sand can save him, faster than the sand can repair. And then Lee roars, Eighth Gate of Death. And with a red aura bursting out, Lee kicks Gara hard, sending him flying. But now to isn't done playing God. Well, he is God, so he doesn't really have a reason. And then he looks at Gara and sends him a Shug Shugaku's chakra for him. And in last effort, Gara uses all his chakra and punches Lee on the chin directly, knocking him out. Gara's like, what was that? He looks at Naruto and he sees Naruto's pointing at a gun at him and he says, I could have handled it on my own. He gave me some of Shugaku's chakra. He has pity on me. Everyone's like, oh, unlucky. But Gara isn't done with Lee. He creates a huge sand tornado weapon and tries to lunge it down at Lee. Naruto appears and catches the sand with his own war power, pushing it away. And he says, that's enough. You're not really acting like a true shinobi right now. He's out. You've won. Are you trying to kill him for no good reason? Not very good if you're trying to make an alliance with the Leaf, is it? And Naruto pushes the sand back. And Gaara's like, Ugh! stop looking down on me, and he tries pushing the sand back. But before Naruto appears in front of him with a sword, then he says, our fight's next. Let's see who's looking down on who. If you're wondering where's the, where's the Sasuke fight, because he was attached by Rochimaru, he was excused from the fight. Oh my god, guys, I just opened the door, it's been raining bears. Jesus. Hey Daze, how you doing? I let Daze in the garden. I didn't see how rainy it was earlier though. Oh, one sec. She's looking at sink. Oh. Oh, one sec, guys. I'll be right back. She sees a fox and I'm going to go boot it. Don't worry, guys. I didn't boot the fox. It's okay. It ran away before I caught it. That's a lot better. Anyway. Shout out, Daze. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Then everyone starts gigging at Gara and he storms off. And Sasuke was took out of the fight because where well, he was attacked by Rochimaru. So yeah. Next time we're gonna have Naruto v Gara. How will that end? And we'll go from there. Remember, like goes 60 likes. And if you don't hit around 80 likes, I'll say. And so if you get like 300 views again or 400, I might end the series. Sorry guys, but I'm trying to grow and if I can't I can't grow my channel if my videos aren't reaching any new people. So other than that, peace out, show your friends and family and bye.